Hi, I'm Jane Esselstyn. I'm Ann Esselstyn. And today we're going to make kale chips two different ways. Plant perfect and plant strong kale chips. And what's the specific name of yours again? It's uh, Mine are Tex-Mex kale chips. And I'm on page 143 of the Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease Cookbook. And the ones I'm making are kale, yeah, kale chips from our book, our, our Engine 2 cookbook. If you're following along, they're on page 116. So um, what we first have to do is strip two bunches of kale. And you're gonna have roughly about five, six cups of, of kale um, pieces per recipe. So you just strip and then make sure you rip them into the, um, so they're, you know, kale chip type size pieces. Um, so we're gonna just quickly, high speed, do this. Okay, we have about, I don't know, two bunches. If you have a really, really big bunch, you may be close to your five, six cups um, needed. Here, I'm gonna go to the compost with this stuff. <laughs> um, so once you have your, your kale needs ready to go, you're ready to make your sauce. For, for my sauce, to co the coating, if you will, for the kale, yeah, kale chips, we're gonna, um, I have a one step more than Anne, so I'm gonna, uh, gonna go a little first, or no, go proceed. Um, so this has cashews in it, so you, um, and then it has some water, and together this is gonna make sort of the slurry, these two things, and then with some nutritional yeast. Um, and I need a little bit more actually. So nutritional yeast, water, cashews together are gonna make this, and we have the option, it says here, of using sort of a taco type seasoning, and we give a suggestion um, here, how to make your own taco seasoning. Oh, this is kind of wet. How'd this get wet? Anyways, and I'm gonna add um, some tablespoons of this flavoring, and then you have a tablespoon for yours. So I'm gonna blur this up and make a lot of noise. Will you tell what's in yours? You've got... Um, I have chili powder, garlic powder, yeah. onion powder, red pepper flakes, dried oregano, cumin, and black pepper, and of course, I also have nutritional yeast and hummus. Yeah, well, that's the, this, oh is what, this is what all those herbs are in there. So you yeah. can stir yours up, I'm gonna stir mine up, and then we're gonna start coating them. I was making a lot of noise. Stir yours up. You might add a little bit of water in there and get that out and maybe make it a little runnier. Mine is going to be way better. I'm going to grab the, she's got a lot of nutritional yeast in here. I added a tiny bit of water to get her nutritional yeast out because it had a big clump Ooh. in there. All right, so you just, like a slurry. That got thick. Okay. When this is smooth and the cashews are all, you know, ground up, this one's going to do it. Can I borrow it? Oh, right. Here. We have been joking lately that we need to have Tovalo holsters <laughs> because we need them all the time. So um, here, so much of my seasoning got sprayed up to the lid. <laughs> so I've got to come down with it. So what you're doing now, Ann, is you are going to take about, I don't know, five or six cups eyeball about half of that and just take it and, and toss it with your hands all over your kale chips or your, your kale pieces to become kale chips and then once you have about half of that here I'm gonna get a little more this is a big this is not a two, two inch piece this is there we go just get it all in there and I'm gonna pour I'm gonna take the rest of it okay and I'm gonna pour my uh, sort of seasoned smoothie on this one and I'm going to do the same thing that Ann's doing just massage it all around kale especially curly kale which I think makes the best chips curly kale has so many crips and grooves and sort of ups and downs and you get nice big clumps of goodness but you have to but you have to sort of pack it in there so that's why I like really toss it around and when you pick up one of these go okay I got to get flavor in there get the flavor 
all in. Like, Wade, can you Mine see? Mine is so totally flavored. Yeah, well, here, uh, Wade, can you, are you above now? I can go above. I come above, and I'm gonna show a piece that, like this one, see all this? This is just dry. You really wanna get it. This is all wet. Uh, Good. Yes, so just t toss it around and open up some of the pieces if you want. And then, when you're ready, take a tray, take your tray, bring it on over, and spread it so it doesn't overlap because you want them to have the chance to cook and dry out and um, be and you know, hard to one get single them layer. Off your finger. <laughs> Yours, maybe so, yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to get my, gosh, this is just a slippery mess. My tray, oh, and the Your oven is on a low setting as possible. If you have, if you can go really, really low, like let me say here, like it, if you can get as low as 250, these go in for like two hours and they just, they just dehydrate and cook. I can't go. Our oven doesn't go low, so we. I cook mine on a convection, convection bake. If you have convection bake, great. Use that. It sort of uniformly dries them out. If you don't have convection bake and your oven doesn't go low, just put it at you know, 300, 325, however low it can go, and let it cook there for about, check it every 20 minutes. And with that kind of intense heat, they're gonna flatten a little bit and just turn them over. I know flipping your chips sounds bizarre, but. Um, you got I, all yours on? I did. Well, I, I, You need another tray maybe. Jane, I like mine not to be overlapping. I know, I, I, I'm. Do you think I, I could? No, you did, you did a brilliant job. Mine are, mine are overlapping a little bit. Um, okay. We can always use, we can always use another tray, and then no problem. The problem is the oven doesn't have enough, you have to rotate the trays in there and make sure they are uniform. So what I did ahead of time is that I knew we were gonna have, uh, make kale chips today. So I made kale chips last night, and I made Plant Perfect and Plant Strong. I made the Tex-Mex kale chips, and I made the kale, yeah, kale chips. So we could show you what they look like when they're done. These are gonna cook for a long time and we don't wanna have to have everybody, all the videographers stay here all day long. So we're gonna take these over to the oven and replace them with the ones that are hiding in there right now. Okay, I've got one tray full and Anne ended up having have two, two trays. trays. I think mine could be separated a little more, but it's, well it done. Makes, it makes them crispier if they are separated. Yes, so we're gonna get our previously baked ones out and put these in. Let me get these out. These are what the plant strong or the engine two ones look like. And these are what the Tex-Mex look like. And we're putting these in our convection bake oven. And we'll enjoy them later. Okay. Oh. So, oh, where's my microphone? I'm gonna take a bite and see if they crispy like kale chips. Oh, see, look at that, look how oh, great. Cool. Can you see that? Can you see that? Yeah. Like, look at that. Look at that yummy little morsel. And here we go. Ah. Mm. That is so crispy. Here, Wade. Ooh. Try one. Thank you. Oh. oh. They're breaking. How's yours? Wonderful. Mmm. These are such yummy. They're really tasty. Mm. If they're not crisp all the way through, take the ones off the tray that are crispy, put the other ones back in the oven, and just let them dry off, dry out, bake all the moisture out of them. And it's delicious. All well, right. These store, I mean, you eat them up before you can store them, probably. Cheers. To kale chips. Yay. Enjoy. All right, bye-bye.